going in the ditch. Got a few deer hearts for the pups. I'm going to feed them. We left the camera on there, so we'll, we'll see what the dog's been doing. We've never done that before. I would imagine that get. those dogs, after we pulled out of the driveway, every one of them went to sleep. We'll find out. Don takes them down every morning like clockwork. He gets up, he checks his email. Sometimes he do not even check his email. And he takes all them dogs, and they go for a long walk. Go all around that 80 acres. and Go humping. They do. And when they come back, they're whooped. Put this camera on. We're going to see what these dogs do while we're gone. I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be good. I've been fired driving. Here it comes. I thought I wasn't driving. Huh? I thought I wasn't driving. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, she can't even reach the pedals. I can't believe it. I told you she was real. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can't even reach the pedals. Oh, I can't. And the and the. She fired me from driving. I'm sorry. The, and she can't now. Just you're just gonna have to suck it up, Buttercup. It's. Will you just please go slow? I mean the the, the damn seat's broke. I can't touch the gas. Come here, Alfalfa. <laughs> Get out. Shit. This girl. We're right downtown Cambridge, and this girl has just opened a shop up down here and if anybody's ever been to my house I have a lot of hand carved fish big fish that hangs on my walls and she has tables in there for sale now from the same artist and fish a fish artist no it's all different stuff. It's just so pretty. She has a table that has an old man with a pipe in his mouth. Good for her. Oh my God. Just, I just want you it's to the go. Longest red light. So slow. She go fired slow. me. See, she needles right. me. Just let's go so slow. Better get out of the road, you little rug rats. Is that that house that burnt down with all those children in it? Oh, is that what that's for? I think it is. Terrible. I just, we went in there to get some lunch and it was barbecued chicken nachos with gouda cheese. Holy shit. That was good. You didn't like it? No. Ooh, I did. I like that. But we're in this big truck in my little car. It's so low to the ground and so little. I know Don hates my car, but I'm an old woman. And if you ever notice, the older people get, the smaller their vehicles get for a reason. Because you can't drive. And he can't drive this truck. He can't park his damn truck. He ain't any better at it than I am. Here's, here's, he has no business. Bad for her today. See, I don't have... A reputation of being any kind of bad driver. Everybody Driving knows history. You don't ever any, drive. Anything, I drive. That's any, why. Anything. It's all undeserved. I've never wrecked a car. I don't fender bend anybody. And there's nothing happens to me. But she's getting a little fucking kooky. Could you? So all I do is go to Food Line, drive the old ball and chain up there so she can get some never. chili stuff for duck chili. Never drives. And right as I'm pulling into a parking spot, she tells me about another one. 
I was just just thinking that it would be a place he could just pull in and not have to turn because he can't drive this truck. Well, see, I park in the lane where they say no parking. It's clearly marked no parking here, but that's bullshit because I've retired military. I mean, if it says no parking, you just freaking don't park there. They just don't. They just don't. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. You just don't like military guys. And then, so we get to this restaurant here, and I'm going to do a little parallel parking. And she goes nutty about my mirror. And so, you know, it goes bad. He I don't is bring pulling it on. up. He is pulling up so close to this car. You and the to. mirrors on this truck stick out that far. I mean, I had to say something. You Un- were getting ready to knock that guy's mirror off. <laughs> you were. Unwarranted. Yes. It's just attack when I'm trying to... You know how much concentration it takes to properly parallel park. And when you are got somebody blowing your concentration over a flippant mirror that I've never hit anybody's mirror... The hell you've not. You hit somebody's mirror <laughs> on Diamond Springs Road and your mirror was just no, a hanging off he, of that truck. He Shit. Hit me. He you hit, hit me. somebody and your mirror I'm at a red dangled. light and he comes up to uh, make a left-hand turn and smashes my uh, mirror off. You weren't even there. What do you know? That's what you told me. Boom. What I told you, I hit him. Uh I'm parked. Boom. (laughs) How many cars have you wrecked in your life? I haven't had a wreck since I was... How many? Well, I wrecked everything I ever had, but... see that, and I haven't. Before I was 17 years old. I haven't. And I haven't had a wreck since I was 17 years old. All this time being married, you but never got many, the phone call that said, Baby, I've totaled the damn car. How many never. speeding tickets have you gotten in the I, past year? I get a few speeding tickets. Because my car is just so easy to drive. You're doing 80 and you don't even fucking realize it. In a 45. I get tickets all the time. No, not the old bosun, mate. I just law abide. Oh, old bosun mate don't leave. Look how pretty that green field is. I wake up in the morning, it's just, I'm going to law abide. I'm going to try to ignore those who force me into weird situations. Like so, this weekend, we are going to go in there and get my meat grinder out. And we're going to make us some ground duck meat. And I'm going to mix some bacon up in it. And we're going to make duck chili and I'm betting it's going to be good. I bought everything I needed. Getting ready for the hunts. Yep. Got a perfect weekend planned. But uh... I look forward to, to these guys coming in. They've been here. We've been friends for years and uh, so you don't have to worry if your house is clean. You don't have to worry about nothing because we've just been friends and that's the best kind of people to have over for a long weekend to people you don't have to worry about. So I'm looking forward to having them. I hope they have a good hunt. But if they don't... I just want to drink and hang out. That's all they want. Liquor cabinet's I've pretty stocked. Uh, we just need Chuck and Red Man down here and Infantry Man. Yeah. Make it a party. Got some good hunts planned, but... The hits just keep on rolling into uh, 2023. It's uh, it's warm. It's warm. In the upper 60s. It's supposed to go back up there. So temperatures are going down. But the upper 60s. Now it's going down. Oh my! Oh dear God! Look at oh my God! Are you gonna get your ducks? Yes, I am. I mean your I'm deer hearts. Your ducks. Get my deer hearts here. Feed the dogs. I'm sorry. I, oh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Stop it. Fucking bitch. Please, please, please. <laughs> please let me go. <laughs> He's the I most just... nerve wracking driver you've hey. ever been with. Hey, look, they got an open sign on there. <laughs> <laughs> How close are you going to pull up? I don't like humping deer oh, hearts Lord. I have to. That truck is so full of deer guts. So the guys are coming down for a hunt, and that's about all we're doing. I, uh, we 
Germany have got so many geese now. They just had an incredible hatch. It's been a couple of years of restricted hunting, a couple of years of COVID, allowing fat Americans across the Canadian border. The ducks are plentiful, the geese are plentiful, and not one of them was going in my fields to eat that millet, and I could not figure out why. What in the hell are they eating instead of the millet? And uh, this is just all from the drought. This is really had a bad time with a lot of the sorghum. Really had a bad time with the chufa. And but I thought my millet, you know, at least that it's come up a couple of feet shorter than it should have. But there were some good heads on it, and I felt okay, great. You know, they, there's there's food for them. You got to get them through to the end of February early March before they migrate home. And I couldn't understand why they weren't in the field eating the millet. And I went down and I pulled one of the heads off and crushed it up. And it's just nothing but shell. There's no seed in it. Really? Just, no. There's nothing in there. All that millet. 16 bags of millet and 80 bucks a bag. Damn! And then, no, just no rain. We didn't have any rain. You couldn't get a score of rain. Now this is something that never happens to me. See that? Now that's embarrassing. You just keep going slow. You're that's, doing fine. That's embarrassing when somebody, a guy like me, you pass me. Everybody passes me and it never bothers me. Well, not me. So, yeah, we're, uh, I got some good sorghum in a couple of the impoundments, three of them out of the five. And, uh, so I'm sweating getting the birds. joy for me in the fields and but that's how whatever as long as they don't starve because next year we're up to a 45 day goose season two geese a day that's a deer Greg's gonna come and have a sleepover with the boys big pajama party at my house Robin should be here really not that fun. They're loud. They're obnoxious. I try to go in my girl room to get away from them and here they all freaking come. I just have to go in my bedroom and lock the door. But they have a good time. And it's a pleasure to watch. And I don't think they give a shit if they kill a duck or not. Herman the Mad German's coming. I'm surprised Capo's kids don't beg him to come down here and stay. That's who we're going to get to take us. <laughs> There's an adult daycare. Yeah, everybody knows what an adult daycare is. And there's a big one here in town and they do a lot of good things. But there is a driver there. He manages all of the vehicles. And I guess years ago he had a limo service here in Cambridge. And that didn't do too good. Not a lot of farmers and watermen need limos on a regular basis so he did this so when he comes to pick us up and takes us downtown i can't wait to get the shit from swayzo and and the boys but it says pleasant day adult <laughs> daycare and they're going to take our, all our drunk asses right downtown and drop us off it ought to be pretty fun anyhow Sorry, I just so happened to pass it. I had to talk about it. I'm excited about next year. We're going to do a couple of do-overs. There's no way we can have this bad of a drought again next year. And uh, from a 30-day goose season, one goose a day, we're going up to 45 days and two geese a day. Yay! That'll make it worth a while. I haven't sent out a field spread for geese in a few years make it worthwhile to get out there and do that we can get off our dead asses around here and uh, get some hunters down here. We've been doing pretty good but we've uh, it's, it's not easy. Well look at this tide shoes priest. We're up there man. Well COVID screwed us up and everything oh, just been out of our control. COVID the drought was drought. out of our control it's Part not because we're lazy. None of this is keep us. Their shit together. It ain't us. This is like the Republican Party voting for. So I mean, <coughs> huh? 
no goose count, so they just, okay, we'll just restrict the damn season. It's just, I'm going to get on a, a roll here, man. But yeah, it's no good. Anything else? No. Shipley. No, that's all I got. Are you sorry? I'm so sorry. Thank you. You know what else? We're, so we got the driving thing figured out. There's one thing that I need you to tell people that you're never, ever going to do again. What? It's overcooked stir fry. Well, you know when you make stir fry, you need to eat it. I ate mine at 3 o'clock. It was delicious. Mine wasn't overcooked. But when you wait until you've had two or three bottles of wine and you go in there at 8 or 8.30, it ain't so good. Eat when I make you, it. You do it all the time. You gotta get I don't it off make stir fry heat. all the time. You've got to get it off the heat. When you put the meat in there, you got to cook it quickly. Well, you don't have to worry heat. about it because I'm never fucking making stir fry again. Of beef. You got me? That's it. Never little again. Skinny pieces of beef and chicken. It does not take. I went in there yesterday. I saw that walk. You're saying you're making uh, chicken, and it's still covered. It's still cooking. So I take the lid off just to let some heat off. She comes right behind me and puts the lid back on. I didn't want flies to get in it. Flies? <laughs> you are just fully, just be attentive. <laughs> cook the stir fry. And you know what? As many years as we've been married, of it, and, and as good of a cook a as I am, if that's all you have to complain about, some goddamn oh, stir fry. All that stir fry. I didn't get any dinner last night. Uh oh, yeah. Well, you just gotta be. Is this son of a bitch not going to scoot over? Well, I'm not scooting over either. Well, well, we're playing chicken? Yeah, we're playing chicken. Look at the size of the mirrors. And look there. at his mirrors. You guys are going to hit mirrors. Oh, God. Oh, so God. I'm just going to blow right to the Oh, See, God. We, we just start we're this We're going to end here. up in the ditch. Dumbass. Is my buddy Don? No, he drives a black truck. This guy is dedicated right here. He has been in that. What time is it? It's got to be going on 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. He has been in that deer stand all day long. And he's still up there. I hope he don't shoot my little deer. I like looking at him. Pull up here and let me get out. i got to check the box. I'm expecting something. Oh, I gotta take the whittle. Oh! What? Somebody, when we were making that duck video the other day that turned out awesome, I just made the comment about if you had one of them wrought iron hamburger presses, you know, I bet that would be great. Well, guess what showed up in the mail yesterday? I don't know who it is, but who are you betting on? It's wheels. I know who it is. Wheels. It's hard. Thank you so much. We got it yesterday, and I'm actually making hamburgers tonight. I'm going to use it. I've always wanted one of them. Never had one. All right. I'm not going to let you overcook them either. So you can have a rare hamburger all you want to. Not me. Nope. There's a package. Oh let me out. Turn this off, nice where please. You can live here and uh, just leave your shit now. Nobody's gonna fuck with it. Okay, folks. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. We used to stop the. Bye bye. The most annoying human to ever live with is my husband. Stop. Getting out, don't break my ankle.